Hey, my loves, I hope you're good. Here is your cosmic weather report for the week ahead. Now, I want to start the cosmic weather report this week with a public service announcement, which is that Mercury and Mars are going to travel together in Scorpio next week, becoming exact conjunct on Sunday. Now, this is huge news. This brings a an intense, intense energy. And especially with the world being as polarized and in pain as it is at the moment, I need as many people to be aware of this as possible so that we can just be more gentle with ourselves and with everybody else around us. Mercury and Mars moving together, especially in Scorpio, could have us wanting to go to war with our words. So it brings a lot of intensity, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of fiery words. We can find that we're hitting out, wanting to hurt people, wanting to get revenge, wanting to kind of really say things that we know are going to wound people. We're just going to want to really battle. And so... I need you, I would always encourage you to speak your truth, but this is one time I really want to say to you, please think before you speak. Don't overreact, don't lash out in anger, don't just spew out, don't use your words as weapons, which is what could happen next week. So if you feel an intensity and anger or frustration rising within you and you want to just spurt it all out, I would invite all of us to please through next week not add any more to the world than is already there and instead just to perhaps place our hands over our hearts, take a couple of really long, slow, deep breaths and then perhaps check in where is this anger and frustration coming from? Where is this need to lash out coming from? Can I sit with it and can I dig deeper? Because we do have a lot of Scorpio energy next week. On Monday, the sun moves into Scorpio. We move into Scorpio season. We're officially in the season of the witch. Now, Scorpio season, Scorpio is the shaman, the magician, the alchemist of the zodiac. So whenever we're in Scorpio season, there's always a very big deep dive inwards to uncover what's in there, what's beneath the surface, what have we been hiding, what have we been avoiding. Scorpio likes to bring all of that up, especially our shadows, so that we can really begin to see what lurks beneath the surface and then always has a tendency to hold us back. It prevents us from ever fully stepping forwards into the fullness of who we are because there's that little shadowy voice back there that says like, oh, but they might think you're too much or... They might not like you if you show this side of you. So Scorpio helps us to really go into inner alchemy and transformation and to really find purpose in our pain and deep wisdom in our wounds and to really bring our shadows to the light so that we can start to then fully own, accept and step into more of ourselves. Scorpio season is a beautiful invite to fully begin to embody, embrace and step into your magic, your true power and your truth. But just bear in mind what I mentioned earlier that there might be a tendency to want to like really put hard boundaries up or really assert some part of yourself and I'd invite us all to just allow that magic to work on the inside first to really use especially this next week this first week we're in Scorpio season and with Mars and Mercury traveling together to find an inner alchemy and so if there is anger and frustration beneath the surface trying to deal with that and figure out where it came from and heal it versus wanting to lash it all out there into the world but there is such a huge powerful potent moment of transformation that comes when we're in Scorpio season especially as we get closer to the Taurus full moon lunar eclipse, it's going to happen next Saturday. And this Mars and Mercury energy is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger as we begin to build, 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 build to this big full moon lunar eclipse. It's going to be such an intense, intense is always a word I give for Scorpio, but such an intense yet powerful and transformative week if we alchemize what's coming up for us and use it for deeper inner understanding and awareness and transformation rather than just poof, 
oh, sending it all out there into the world. And so really use the beginning of the week in particular as the sun moves into Scorpio to really sit with yourself, to notice what's rising for you, to notice what's stirring for you, to notice if there is anger, frustration. And as I mentioned, see if you can figure out where is that coming from? Where is that really deep down coming from? This is where we're going to start to find the alchemy of these emotions and be able to listen to the messages that they've got for us. Now, we're already in a huge, powerful portal here. We're, we're exactly almost between the two eclipses. And on Tuesday, the sun's going to meet Saturn. Now, this is going to give us a really um, lovely opportunity to start to check in with where do I need to put boundaries around my new sense of self? So we're in this huge transformation portal at the moment and new versions and new layers of us are beginning to appear and Tuesday gives us this really nice opportunity to look at where do I want to start to put some more boundaries in place? And with the big energies we've got this week, it might just be boundaries around what you do and don't want to discuss with people, how much of yourself you want to keep giving out there. It might be boundaries around some time for yourself, some space for yourself, some time to to rest and regather yourself as we're living in such intense times. So just really feel into what boundaries do I need to put around my newfound sense of self? It may be that you put boundaries in place with other people, but again, just be mindful of that Mercury and Mars energy that any boundaries we set outwardly next week are probably likely to be more hard boundaries. So first of all, perhaps find those boundaries in yourself. This is what I am and I'm not willing to do, show up for anymore. And find that inner sense of boundary because that's what the full moon lunar eclipse when it comes on Saturday is really going to bring us. This is going to be it's our last eclipse of the year. It's going to be a, a hugely powerful eclipse just with all the rest of the energy that's going on through the week. But this eclipse is going to really show you there's going to be a knowing of what you are done with, what you no longer want to put up with, what you're ready to walk away from, what you're no longer willing to believe, versions of you that you're no longer willing to show up as. It's going to be this very clear moment of, I'm done. This is what I'm done with. And once we use the energies of this moon to release what we're done with, this full moon lunar eclipse is then going to give us this opportunity to be able to put roots in to who we want to become, to what it is that we want to create in our lives. So there's going to be, it's almost like we're going to be asked to dig out the soil to remove what we no longer want. And then there is this space for us to put these deep roots down of, okay, this is what I'm going to grow now. And remember, I often mention to you that the deeper the roots, the greater the rise. And so this moon's going to give us this really powerful opportunity to lay those very, very deep roots. Sunday, then we get Mercury and Mars exact. We'll be in the big full moon energy. So this public service announcement is in play all week. But as we get closer and closer to the weekend and closer and closer to that full moon lunar eclipse, the energies are going to likely be up here so please please if you are watching this video the more of us that can be aware of the energy the less we're then going to take offense or fire back or fight back or keyboard warrior or whatever it is that our reaction might be so check your reaction remember whenever we're kind of triggered by something it's an invite to go in and heal a part of ourselves and if people around you are angry and frustrated and loud and shouting and venting and ranting, just give them a little bit of grace. The energy of next week is going to be quite an intense one. And the more and more of us that cannot add our own fire and frustration and anger to the mix and we can just be that that grounding, that peace, that love, the calm amidst the storm the more then we might be able to dilute a little bit of this energy and really use this as a powerful opportunity for, for healing as well. And perhaps for some beautiful, deep conversations, one thing Mercury and um, Scorpio does do is give us the ability to be able to have very deep, vulnerable, intimate conversations, but they need to come from a place of, of heart and from you having really integrated what it is that you want to say first so that it isn't just your first reaction that spews out. It's coming from a really grounded place of I've sat with this. I know where this is coming from. And now I want to speak it and try and explain to you why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. And so um, just be prepared for next week. It's, it's, it is big energy. Scorpio energies always are 
full moons always are, lunar eclipses always are, but in amongst all of this is such a powerful opportunity for deep transformation. So go gently with yourself, with each other. Don't rush. Notice what's coming up for you, especially anger, frustration, and rather than wanting to discharge it out there, sit with it, sit with it. And that might begin to give you the answers to what it is that you are ready to release, to dig out, to no longer put up with, to no longer add to, to no longer be part of. We don't want to keep adding more and more and more of this vitriol and hate and anger to the world. And then in that place, what do we want to put in? I want to ground in love. I want to ground in peace. I want to ground in unity. I want to ground in me being the most authentic, honest and true version of myself so that I may then inspire and encourage others to do the same. So big old week, don't just take a deep breath, take 10 deep breaths in any moment that you feel emotions rising. And as I say, just hold everybody else around you really gently, just give everybody some grace. And we've got this together, my loves, we really do. If you want to work with these full moon energies, we've got the soul space on Thursday night where we will gather together in community. In these energies, I'll explain to you everything you need to know about the full moon. And we will then move and meditate together to just really let these energies, these emotions move through us so we can take the wisdom from them. Um, the likelihood is as we gather, we will send some love and healing and peace out into the world of course and we'll we'll really allow ourselves to ground in these times so that we can become the anchor the anchor of light that's needed at the moment um and then if any of you are really feeling the witch energy we are getting together next saturday live in london to awaken the witch within this is going to be a beautiful um live workshop with me where we're going to we're going to create some magic we're going to create some deep transformation I promise you that the version of you that arrives will not be the same you that leaves on that day. Um, and if you can't join us live, we are going to do an online version of this that begins the following Monday. And you have the option to get a whole week of work to do as well, meditations and rituals and things to really begin to... And this is what we need to be doing right now. We need to be really awakening our own inner magic and power and truth so that we can be those anchors of light. We can be those anchors of peace and divine feminine energy and bringing in more of the goddess, the peace, the love, the unity that is needed. And so if any of this calls to you, you will find all the links in my bio. We would love to have you there. And otherwise, just go gently this week let as many people know as you can about this Mars and Mercury energy so as many of us as possible can be holding the light and holding the the peace and holding the gentle energy around anything else that wants to kind of come up in that time I'm sending you so much love I'm here I've got you we've got each other we've got this I'll see you all really soon